Hi friends, happy spooky season. I think it's fitting that Halloween is canceled this year because it just feels a little over the top to do like a boo, huh, isn't it scary? Doesn't being scared kind of make you feel alive? No, everything's scary all the time, I'm set. But I do find it fascinating now that we all know like real fear that we had this entire industry dedicated to making people scared, but not actually scared. Because I have to believe that if it was actually scary, people would not pay their money to have an unpleasant experience. I wouldn't. That's why I don't fuck with roller coasters. The key to the Halloween costume horror movie industrial complex is walking your audience right up to fear and then pulling back. You may say, yes, Taylor, I know the final scene of Jordan Peele's Get Out, but no, I'm talking about an even greater creative masterwork, Dweller of the Cave. Dweller of the Cave is a song brought to you by MusicK8.com, the producers of the Easter classic that I've discussed on this channel before, Hard Boiled Egg. And it's a song made to license to music teachers to teach to children, like as a fun treat. Today, instead of singing a song about Jesus, we're gonna make a hard pivot and sing a song about supernatural cave beings. Although, and I remember learning this song in Mrs. Seeley's class in maybe like second grade and it creeping the bejesus out of me. And you know what? I found it on YouTube. So we're gonna listen together. The channel Plank Road Publishing describes Dweller of the Cave thusly. This song by Teresa Jennings combines kids joy at being scared a little. See, you turn it up and then you pull it back with a unique tune that is fun to sing and perform. It is part chant, part mystery, part rock, and it includes tracks with powerful orchestration and great electronic effects. Combine this with the fact that it will bring your hard to please boys to life. Okay, already zombies. And you have a tune that is rare indeed. Who is the dweller of the cave? We'll never tell. All right, let's do this. It opens with that like low haunted house synth and the sound of what I can only describe as a fog machine rolling over a bed of glow sticks really sets the tone right from the start. And then it moves into a group of children chanting. And if you're in music class in second grade, this presumably includes you, but this is a strong start because as every horror movie trailer knows, children singing in unison is an instant shortcut to unease. And those little ahs come in, reminiscent of what was to me at the time the scariest scene in all of film, the little mermaid losing her voice to an evil sea witch. Is Ursula the dweller of the cave? We'll never tell. What do they know? My secrets, where I live, how to get into my house. Then the drums kick in and they're giving me real in the air tonight vibes. And we're building. We're building to meet the dweller of the cave. This is the part of the movie where you're walking down the hallway and the string music tells you that there's about to be a jump scare and you don't know when. So let's see if it gives us any clues. We keep building painting a really terrifying picture. Catch those background vocals? That's the part that the teacher gives to the girl who's the best singer in class, who is always both rich and mean. And everyone's scared of her. So you have layered it on, built it up. We are about to reveal the dweller of the cave and just perish of fright. But remember, I said the key is to build it up and then pull it back and this song delivers. It is about to redeem itself with the best sequin pants, glam rock redemption chorus. Get ready. And then we just fade out on the same thing we came in on. It's the perfect song. Even your hard to please boys are brought to life. Look, we may have to cancel Halloween this year, but it's long overdue because it's all been downhill since Dweller of the Cave dropped in 1997. And who is the Dweller of the Cave, you ask? With David Bowie in the Labyrinth. Can't believe you had to ask me so many times. In the comments, tell me something that scared you as a kid that doesn't scare you anymore. If you like this video, you can hit the notification bell to find out when I make more. You can also join the Radish Collective, my community on Patreon, to help me make more of these videos. And if you live in the US and you want a phone bank, text bank, get out the vote with me. We do a live stream, we have a fun time. There's a link to sign up in the description. I will see you soon. Bye.